Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie coming on today to share with you our second collaboration for Paper Piecing Creators. And we are going through the alphabet. So we're on the letter B, minus B is for box. And I apologize, I have a bad cold. Still trying to be able to talk and breathe, so bear with me here. I'll leave the information for the other collaborators that are joining us on the YouTube today. Do want to invite you if you are a paper piecing fan, love the, doing that, have questions, need help, please come over to Paper Piecing Creators on YouTube, ask to join our group. You just have to answer three simple questions, not a problem. So please give us a look and again, if you need help with stuff, let us know. But I'm going to go ahead and start in my projects today. I love to paper piece and I love to make treat boxes and stuff. So I'm going to be sharing a little bit of a combination of both. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. But here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first project I'm sharing with you today is an apron box. It is from Lori Whitlock. And I don't know if I got it from her shop or from the Silhouette Design Store. I apologize. I, I just don't remember anymore. It's been a little while. I did share this on my YouTube channel. Sometimes you can actually see it a bit and get more information through a video. So that's why I thought I'd share it today. And I'm kind of on a blue Christmas theme for the first couple of projects. And just keep in mind, this is not something you have to use for Christmas. I just did a winter theme. It'd be great for a lot of different themes and projects. So start off, um, there are holes for the handles. I used ribbon. I don't remember if there are handles with this project. I, I just, so sorry. I know the utensils come with it and there's a little pocket in the front that you can add. Um, I did add the greenery, that's from Tim Holtz. All of the greenery pretty much you'll see today is a die from Tim Holtz. And then I used the Heartfelt Poinsettia Creations, uh, their die for my poinsettias. Flower is from Really Reasonable Ribbon. I just added some glitter glue to that. Added some bling here along the bottom and some lace. This heart medallion in the middle is actually, it's, I think it comes in a long strip. I'm not sure if it's up and down or across, but got that from AliExpress and I just cut them apart. My uh, utensils, I actually cut them out of mirror cardstock, but then I also cut them out of, I think it's 80 pound cardstock, maybe I'm not sure, but it just makes it a little bit uh, sturdier. My bows, I cut, excuse me, I made those with my bow at all. That, I use that pretty much for all my bows, that, ribbon bows. And now the spoon is from Marjorie Ann Designs. I think it's from a gingerbread vial. The mitten, I'm not sure if it came with the vial or if it's um, from Cricut Design Space or where. I'm really sorry. I just created an offset for the uh, wooden spoon though. But just to give you an idea of the size of this box, because this is really a nice size and it's, I want to say it was maybe off of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper because it's, uh, I used 120 part, 120 pound cardstock and I only have that in eight and a half by 11. So yeah, I'm not sure. But it's about two and three fourths inch deep. It's uh, three and a fourth inches approximately tall. And then it's about four and a quarter inches across. It, it, so it may not look it, you know, in the video, but it is very roomy. It would easily hold one of the, like the pump, soap pumps from Bath and Body Works or something similar to that and 
You could wrap up a, uh, you know, a towel or something to put in there or cookies that you baked. You want to give some goodies to someone or some candies. There's, there's truly a lot of room in here. So that's a fun one to make. Very simple. There's so many ways you can decorate that. So, and I did the bottom on that just to make it a little more sturdy. Uh, next I have, again, like I said, my blue theme here. I have my pizza box and this is from Dreaming Tree, the, the box itself. Um, and I'll show you the inside quick. I just put magnets on it, put some acetate, made a window in it, and I covered up the back of the gingerbread mostly with white. You can see a little bit, but not very much. I'm not sure if I put this together right just because it seems like, I don't know, it seems like it should flip around, but anyway, I, this is the best I could do and I'm still happy with it. So on the inside, I created some dividers so I can put some stuff in there. And I didn't put any other kind of closure just because the magnets are there, it'll pop up. The gingerbread is from Martrian Designs. It's the Sweet Winter Gingers. It actually, they're different colored in the uh, this picture online, so you might kind of wonder, but that's where it is from. The uh, stamped sentiment is from my stash. It was gifted to me in some stamp sets from Cherie, from Paper Piecing, no, Paper Pieces and Leftovers, get that right. Sorry, Cherie. And then I just added a few little liquid pearls here. Uh, again, some green, greenery from Tim Holtz, and I just changed up the colors so it stayed more uh, blue and white. And then poinsettias from Heartfelt Creations with some silver Nouveau glitter on there. I used some glitter paper on her icing and on the top of the thermometer. On the thermometer, instead of making silver little dashes cut, I just used my Cricut to fill those in. So that was fun. And yeah, this is five inches square and it's, yeah, two inches deep. So this is a really nice size box also. If you're looking for a little bit bigger treat box or you wanna gift some things to a friend, that's a really nice box to use. And next I have a little gift card treat holder. And this box is from SVG cutting files, just the treat holder gift box. The paper piece is from Kadoodlebook Designs. I think it was a freebie for a while, uh, a week, and it's peaking gusts, I'm not sure. But yeah, that was a fun one. I just added a snowflake, cut out and a couple times and glued it together, put some glitter on it, just attached it to a mini clothespin, and then this is stiff because of all the stuff on the front, so I'm gonna to try to show this, but in the center, it's got the gift card holder, and then it's got two spots for treats on the sides. And my tag and my stamp set are from Lawn Fawn, just a little, I have a little die and stamp set I had seen on a YouTube video quite a while ago and really like it, uh, just, it fits so many little things for gifts and stuff. The little tree and the peppermint candy are from my stash. So had those. And I did cut that several times with cardstock and then the top layer with um, glitter paper. So that. And then the last thing I have for you is this it's a cocoa box card from my scrap chick. And I was going to just use it as a plain card. And I decided I'd seen a video on Sir Rock, I can't say that right, Sir Rocco Chauncey, it's Robin Pitt's YouTube channel, how she had added for the spoon, the wooden spoon, you could get them on Amazon. And then she put uh, on the bottom, she put cocoa packets and I thought oh that was a cool idea so I'm going to use it for that. Um, I used some glitter paper for that just put the little bows on put some bows up here and this little tag 
and sentiment are from Cricut Design Space. It says I run on cocoa and Christmas cheer. So I had to put a pen in and I had to draw it instead of doing, because uh, it's so tiny, instead of doing anything with cutting. And I don't do vinyl, so no. But uh, that's a really nice size. And it's got three compartments, so you could put some candy, some marshmallows, and a packet of cocoa in there. But that was really fun. And I apologize, I do have one more box quick to show you and then I'll be done. This is the rectangle box with bow from my scrap chick. And obviously it doesn't have a bow, I, I get that. I did decide to just do some decorative the poinsettias and the foliage and uh, these little gold pieces are dies from my stash that I cut. I think they're from my haul, let's see. Jaded Blossom, I believe, with a poinsettia dye. And then I just put this stamp on it. The gold piece on there, that I, that's cut with the Cricut from a file there. And it's a nice size. It's, it's about two inches deep. It's a one and seven eighths. It's yeah, three and a quarter inches high and five and a quarter inches wide. So it is a really nice size. You can get a lot in there. All of these boxes were cut with the Cricut. Everything you saw today. Uh, and then I, you know, added some sentiment or some paper pieces with it. So I do like to, like I say, you know, when I gift something, I try to put it in a decorative box or something. And um, this is what I've been working on some. So, Anyway, I do want to thank everybody for joining me. The information I think I mentioned for the collaboration is in the description box. So please, I hope you join everybody and consider joining our Facebook group. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Otherwise, thanks for joining me. Take care.